Konnichiwa, my little elves, and welcome to Music Report, where I ramble on unnecessarily for longer than need be about something that I want to talk about. Essentially anything that's pretty prevalent in the news regarding music. And today... I've got something which is is a pretty hot topic. So Sainsbury's, who are a supermarket chain from the UK, stocking vinyl, and a lot of people aren't happy. This comes after Tesco announced that they were going to stock vinyl for the first time, being the first supermarket, at least in the UK, to, to do so since the vinyl revival. This happened last September after Iron Maiden announced they're going to be releasing their album Book of Souls and Tesco decided that they were going to do a sort of trial where they would stock vinyl copies of this in select stores around the country and just see how well it fares and if they sold well then they would introduce the idea of stocking vinyl to, to more of their stores. And a lot of people had reservations, nay, absolute disgust at the idea of this because independent record stores they will lose out and uh, no because the same people who go to independent record stores will just still go to independent record stores if anything it will usher in a new audience for vinyl and things will be cheap and cheerful again because vinyl is quite expensive as it is at the moment and part of the reason for that is because the demand isn't high enough so therefore you've got to pay upwards of 20 quid for a standard record and it's a joke. No one's saying that you will have to go to Tesco or Sainsbury's to get your records. It's just for people who don't have a record store nearby and yeah people say yeah there's Amazon and everything though so bleh. yeah but children won't be going on Amazon going mummy can you get this for me no it won't happen they'll be walking through Tesco's with the shopping trolley and go oh mummy that looks cool it's like it, it's it's a piece of art and then they go oh yes that's that's a record put it in the trolley we'll, we'll get it and then you know here's a record player let's get that as well you know uh, uh, I really don't know why so many people who listen to vinyl are so elitist and cynical. If anything, this will create an industry boom, which is is wonderful. Back in the day, they sold records in supermarkets, in chemists or drugstores, if you're in the US. I really don't know why people are having such a big problem with this. It's happened before. And it's slowly starting to happen again. It's like the Ice Age, you know, it froze over. And now, you know, we're just waiting for it to come back down again so we can just go to a local corner shop and go, here, you know, here's five quid, give me a record, you know. And you also have places like Urban Outfitters who are now stocking vinyl, which is essentially a clothing shop. And Bed Bath and Beyond as well, they're selling vinyl. And turntables. <laughs> So really, there's not much you can do about it. People are responding to the fact that vinyl is having a resurgence. And I'm really happy about that because I love vinyl. I love how tactile it is. And I don't know, there's something about the aesthetic of it when you 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 put it on the spindle and you're watching it go round. And the idea that there, that there is music in a piece of plastic for me is just amazing. You know, when it's digital files, like, I don't know, there's nothing that special about that to me, but... It's really not a big deal. It really isn't. Any person who's lived long enough to have been in a situation where vinyl was the the only medium to buy things on, other than tape, I suppose. Change is coming. It's not like Sainsbury's and Tesco and, I don't know, Asda, probably, are going to be stocking like rare records. It's going to be things like Amy Winehouse and Adele and the classics like Bowie and Fleetwood Mac and Cannibal Court. Why did that? That's a really strange thing to think of. And Nirvana and the Beatles and Pink Floyd. People like that. And they're going to be reissues. They're not going to be rare pressings that you can't find anywhere else. And you're not going to be crying because some person who has no real idea of value in a record, s snag something which you've been wanting for years. It's not gonna happen, mate. It's not. So just stop the vitriol 
and get on with your life because it's really not worth whinging about. It's going to change and there's now what you can do about it. Cool? Great. I'll see you soon with another video of this ilk. So, um, yeah. If there's anything you want me to debate, I'll consider it. I may veto it, though.